A fantastic new feature we've added in WingX Pro 7 version 8 is instrument approach chart routing. And what this does is it allows you to enter an approach chart and WingX will automatically insert all the points belonging to that approach. Let me show you how this works. I'm going to enter a route from LAX to San Francisco. By the way, a really cool thing we've added is if you click on the airport diagram over there, you'll see the airport diagram just pop up. Very nice quick reference. So let's say we wanted to fly a departure procedure out of LAX. We simply tap on LAX, say add departure procedure to route. And as it turns out, uh, the Caster 3 departure is the one we want, but you can select um, any of the other departure procedures. If it's rotated the wrong way, we can simply rotate it the correct way by tapping on the rotate button at the bottom. But let's go back to Caster 3. You'll notice it says no DP selected. At this point, we've simply selected the departure procedure, but we haven't selected the transition. And so WingX is not sure exactly which route we want to follow. If we want to zoom in, we use a simple pinch to zoom. And the transition we want is the Avenal transition. So we click on AVE. Now it's asking us, well, what is the first fix that you want? So depending on which runway you depart from, WingX Pro 7 wants to know exactly what the first fix is so that it knows the routing. Well, in this case, let's say we're departing off this runway because LAX has a whole bunch of runways. So let's tap on Delray. At this point, WingX Pro 7 knows what you want to do. You want to, you want to uh, enter the departure procedure at Delray and exit at the Avenal transition. So we have an OK button. We tap on that and you'll notice WingX has automatically inserted all the points for the departure procedure. Now we need an arrival procedure. So we tap on KSFO, we say add start to route. And well, let's see. So yeah, as it turns out, the Big Sur is a, is a good one for us because that will bring us right from uh, Big Sur into the Menlo intersection, which is pretty close to the 28 left approach we want to fly. In this case, there really isn't, uh, you know, we don't have transition uh, points and, and first points and so on. And so we have an OK button. We'll tap on that. And there we go. We have all the points for the uh, star into San Francisco. And if we look at the route, you'll notice that it's green. You'll notice DP is, is, is in green and the route is also in green. Between Avenal and Big Sur, it's in magenta, which is just essentially a standard route and then star is in blue and the way we we use these colors green means go blue you kind of up high and think of the sky and then now what we're going to do is this is the new feature it's really cool we're going to add an instrument approach procedure to ksfo and that will be in red as in danger watch out so when you bring up a list of charts you'll notice we have these two new flags and what that means is if you see it says geo it means it's geo reference and if it says IAP, it means that we have the instrument approach chart routing for that route. Now, in this case, the quiet bridge visual and the tiptoe visual do not have uh, routing, but we've actually covered pretty much all the other ones, which is great. And we're continually adding right now. We're at pretty high percentage and uh, working pretty quickly to finish the rest up. So in this case, let's say we want to fly the ILS into runway 28 uh, left. And again, it's now saying, OK, well, where do you want to start from? So in our case, if you remember, the star ended at Menlo. So let's start the approach at Menlo. Tap on Menlo and you will notice that WingX has automatically added the routing from Menlo and along these fixes all the way into the runway. So we have an OK button because now WingX is aware of the exact route that you want. So we tap on OK. Now we can actually follow this all the way up. We can add a point. Let's say we want to add a VOR. We can say, well, add that to the route, and you'll notice it pops it in right there. And this is, we're in summary mode, and so WingX is showing you departure procedure, star instrument approach procedure, and you'll notice all the colors. It's blue there until we get to Menlo. And then let's just zoom in on Menlo and the approach, and you'll notice how we have all the, all the fixes there. If we tap on points, we will see all the points along the route. But in a lot of cases, we just want to see the turns. So for example, if we look at, um, uh, uh, some of these points, for example, twine to caster, you'll notice it's three, two, four the whole way. So if we just tap on turns, wing access automatically just removed a bunch of those points because we really just care about the turns. And this is incredibly powerful. 
where we can have a departure procedure followed by Victor Airways, Jet Airways, a star, and even an instrument approach procedure all the way to the runway. It's absolutely phenomenal to be able to do this and it'll save a lot of time, a lot of uh, heads down time when you're flying an approach. And even if you change an approach, um, you simply tap on the departure, say add IAP, and just pick a different one. So there we can pick uh, the, the RNAV, select Menlo, bang, we've just changed the entire approach procedure and the entire routing into San Francisco. So I hope you like it. Uh, we really love it. It's We think it's great and it's, it's the only way to fly IFR. So uh, yeah, please send feedback to support at hiltonsoftware.com.